on Discover Ohio. You know, Ohio has such a rich heritage. One of the most important pieces is the Native American struggle that took place here so many years ago. The award-winning outdoor drama Tecumseh helps keep the story alive night after night in Chillicothe. Before buildings popped up across the state, lived a man who fought to defend his homelands right here in Ohio. And every summer for decades, his story comes to life in Chillicothe. Here was a man who went beyond the human range uh, to help himself, his family, his people, and his culture. Tecumseh was a Shawnee warrior during the late 1700s. The outdoor drama Tecumseh is the story of a man, a warrior, a leader. We cannot call ourselves warriors if we think of this as courage. More than 30 years ago, there were talks about bringing an outdoor drama to Chillicothe. The idea was to bring to life an historical Ohio figure. It was seven-time Pulitzer Prize nominee and Emmy recipient Alan W. Eckert that suggested Tecumseh. He would go on to write the play that would change the scope of outdoor drama. Tecumseh was different. That script did not employ a narrator. Uh, it totally immersed you. Uh, the, the fourth wall, as they say in theater, was not broken. And it used horses and it had big battles. It was truly epic theater. Epic because thanks to the extras added to the play, you really feel like you have taken a trip back in time. It employs real horses. When the script calls for battles, we do real battles. You are able to symphonically, and by that I mean you can see it, uh, you can smell it because of the battles, the gunpowder, so it involves all of the senses. It connects all of the senses. But besides the play, the history, and the heart and soul that goes into telling the story, what may be most compelling about the story of Tecumseh is that it's told on the very grounds that he once walked, adding to the feel of the outdoor drama. A lot of these events happened in what is now their backyard. You know, Tecumseh walked on these grounds. Simon Kenton walked on these grounds. Um, so it, it provides them with a sense of history and maybe a sense of appreciation for their own land that they're on currently. All the way from Circleville up through Columbus, uh, tens of thousands of, of, of bison started out there, came down across the Ohio River, went into Kentucky. These folks, that was their sustenance. That was, that was eradicated. And when you're walking on the, you know, in these places, it might behoove all of us to get a sense of what happened. It might help all of us to better appreciate what we have. They lived, died, you know, here in this area, and, and it's pretty powerful. It gets to you at times, and, you know, and my hope is all that we're feeling and experiencing and any research that we've done, that the audience, you know, really can take that with them, experience that, and feel it with us, because it's good. It's good. But the very thing that makes an outdoor drama so unique... Fire! can also be the very thing that works against it. It's outside. And so you have these elements to contend with. The weather, the wind, all of these uh, elements of nature that uh, if you fight against them, you will lose. But if you incorporate them into your story, into what you're doing, it can become a very beautiful thing. That attitude is an attribute because behind the scenes, the actors and crew take on a grueling schedule to tell the story of Tecumseh. And it all starts just two and a half weeks before the drama is scheduled to open. It is a very, very, very busy, very energized time, shall we say. Uh, pretty much from nine in the morning to about 11 so at night, you are rehearsing. You know, and so that, that's for about two and a half, three weeks that you're just committed every day, seven days a week, rehearsing. You get up, eat, drink, sleep, to come some. There's a lot of different elements in the show, you know, with the horse rides, the pyrotechnics, the, you know, um, the combat, and just the staging of the show with the actors. Um, and we have 18 days to put this show together, so we have 18 days to teach people who have never been near a live horse how to ride a horse bareback in a loincloth, which 
isn't the easiest thing. You know, and we also have to teach um, the ladies how to fire off the cannons and how to do all this stuff safely. We're not in a conventional theater, so, you know, we can't do lighting stuff in the afternoon. We have to wait for the sun to set. So not only do they finish their rehearsals at 11 o'clock at night, but then the tech crew keeps going, working on the lighting and all that stuff, getting that ready, because that's the only time they have to do it. Um, so there are a lot of challenges in that respect to get this thing going. You wouldn't know it sitting from the audience, but this hillside is actually a stage and living quarters. The actors and crew live on site in cabins for the summer and experience, many will tell you, just adds to the play. It's actually fabulous because it creates like this community experience for us and it creates a better ensemble feeling for the show, I feel. If we were all kind of spread out, I feel like it wouldn't. Um, there wouldn't be such camaraderie. Many in the crew will tell you those bonds are supported by the surrounding community to which not only the history of Tecumseh but the play itself is so important. The people in Chillicothe are just very nice, very open, very warm. Oh, they found out you're at Tecumseh. Oh, wow, you guys, when do you guys start? You guys, you know, and so it's great to be in that type of atmosphere with such a supportive people. It's kind of getting back to your roots and those roots are all of our roots, all Ohioans, all Americans. A history poured into a show that is likely to appeal across the board to all interests and ages. You have, uh, of course, cannon explosions, gunfire, you know, the kids are going, yeah, I love this. You got horses zooming past you and all kinds of, I mean, it is, the show offers pretty much anything. That you want. I have a love interest in the show. Amidst all the battles, amidst all the fighting, amidst all this craziness, he gets to fall in love. You know, so I have something for the romantics out there. I have something for the, the, the historians or the historical buffs out there. You know, I have something for the kids with all the, the fighting and the, the cool horses. And, you know, I, there's something for everyone in the show. We want to entertain them, but we also want to have them go away and just think more about their own lives. Um, and their own relationships with other people and, and maybe how they can relate some of the stuff to current events today. It's a love story between the people and the land. The people who were here and the people who came to take it. It's a love story. The outdoor drama runs every summer. For additional details, go to TecumsehDrama.com. Well, thanks for joining us for this edition of Discover Ohio. With so much to see and do, you'll want to join us next time. I'm Makia Cameron.